A key Hezbollah commander and his chain of command were killed in an Israeli strike in Beirut, according to the Israel Defense Forces. Hezbollah confirmed that senior commander Ibrahim Akel died in an Israeli airstrike that leveled a multi-story building in a densely populated Beirut neighborhood. Israel said Akel was among senior Hezbollah figures who were killed in the strike that left at least 14 people dead and injured dozens more, according to Lebanon's health ministry. Israel said Akel was among senior Hezbollah figures who were killed in the strike that left at least 14 people dead and injured dozens more, according to Lebanon's health ministry, according to Axios media outlet. The attack comes several days after the remote detonations of pagers and walkie-talkies that killed close to 40 people and wounded more than 3,000 others. Hezbollah said many members of its military units and institutions died or were injured in the attacks. Search and rescue operations are underway after Israel struck two residential buildings in the Jamis area in the southern suburbs of Beirut, according to the Lebanese civil defense. In Beirut, there were chaotic scenes as emergency teams rushed to the site of the attack, rescuing the wounded and searching for people believed to be trapped under the rubble. Streets were closed by Hezbollah members, some looking incredulous as the attack represented another humiliating blow in a week which saw pagers and walkie-talkies belonging to the group explode. Dozens were killed and thousands wounded in those attacks, widely believed to be orchestrated by Israel. Friday's strike was the first to hit Beirut since July, when Hezbollah's military chief Fuad Shakr was killed. About 120 rockets were fired from Lebanon toward Israel by midday on Friday, the Israel Defense Forces told ABC News, one day after Israel struck more than 100 Hezbollah targets within Lebanon, the military said. Officials with the U.S. and other international leaders urged Hezbollah and Israel to seek diplomatic paths to de-escalate the conflict. U.S. officials have this week privately urged their Israeli counterparts to find a diplomatic resolution to the conflict, State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said. He added that U.S. was committed to the defense of Israel from all terrorist organizations, including Hezbollah and other Iranian proxies. Secretary of Defense Austin told his Israeli counterpart Yov Gallant in a phone call that the U.S. is concerned about the current escalation and strongly re-emphasized the importance of reaching a diplomatic resolution that enables residents to return safely to their homes on both sides of the border, the Pentagon said. Huge plumes of smoke billowed over Kfar Seir village in southern Lebanon on Thursday as Israeli shelling intensified along the Lebanese border. A video obtained by the Associated Press showed large plumes of smoke rising from a forest in Kfar Seir. Lebanon has been on the brink of all-out war with Israel for the past year, with Israel and Hezbollah trading fire and Israeli warplanes breaking the sound barrier over Beirut almost daily terrorizing people in their homes and offices. Hezbollah began striking Israel almost immediately after Hamas' October 7 attack that sparked the war in Gaza.